developing a sense of number, that's the major task, in my opinion, of grades one through four. Students are spending far too much time practicing procedural skills. I want them finishing fourth grade, knowing their arithmetic facts. Expanding this awareness of their themselves in location, in space, measurement of our classroom. We can have a different perspective. We're used to looking at our world like this. Now, what does it feel like to be the bird? They discovered that they could knot a rope. And if they knotted it in a particular way, that they were able to create something called a right triangle. Counting systems of ancient Egypt, counting systems with cuneiform in Mesopotamia, they would have worked with these systems and realized that there's other ways to work with number. Well, which of these would you use to measure specific things? Here's the representation of one-sixth, and then here's my representation of one-half. If you have a prime number and you get a remainder of one, when dividing by four, you can express it as a sum of two squares in exactly one way. Where do we see the circle divided every single day is in a clock. What's special about the number six? Write it down. What's the sum? Six itself. Oh, that's very lovely. So again, fourth grade, flexible long division, fifth grade, shortcut long division. But again, I think this builds mathematical thinking. Why? Because it's flexible. And to see all the different ways you can do it, and there's a story.